hopefully we'll be leaving Peru soon. And I say hopefully, not out of any sort of happiness. But the quarantine is kind of taking over here and we don't know how long it'll last and we're just stuck inside. So we're really trying to get back to the United States now and cut our time short here from our initial plan to stay here about five or six months. We'll be coming into spring in the United States hot. We sure are gonna miss Peru though, and we're definitely gonna have to come back because there's a ton of stuff we haven't done and we need to do. The big one being Machu Picchu, but a lot of other stuff too. I sure will miss the view. There's a total of one flight left to the United States for repatriation from Peru and that is on April 21st, which is gonna be about a week and a half ago. We've been trying to get out of Peru uh, since the quarantine ended. We signed up for the embassy's repatriation thing and we have not gotten called. We followed all the rules and now they're on to their last flights. The embassy is pretty much forcing us to take this price gouge Eastern Airlines flight, which I'll show you how much it is and it's ridiculous. over $2,000 per person. So we ended up taking out a repatriation loan with the US Embassy in order for them to book the Eastern Airlines flight. And so tomorrow, April 21st, we're gonna be flying out to Miami. It's gonna be an all day thing. There's gonna be no food on the plane, no food at the hangar, nothing. We're flying out of a military base. So we're bringing snacks, we're bringing water. Uh, we're gonna hope it's a good day, but it's, it's gonna be really tiring. The flight's super expensive and we have to pay back the government because we took out the loan with them. But right now there's a bill in the house of representatives in the US that would basically eliminate or reduce the amount that people who are repatriated have to pay, whether that's the promissory note or a loan. And there's a change.org thing going around that I would be really grateful, and so would Michelle, if you would sign it because we don't have to pay the super price gouged fees of Eastern Airlines. Then in Miami, we don't know what time we're exactly landing, but we're probably gonna be landing late at night. So we're just gonna sleep in the airport, which sucks. What do you think about the price gouging flights? I think it's absolutely ridiculous and I will never fly Eastern. They just don't, they just haven't left a good taste in my mouth. Literally had to climb to the roof to get uh, gloves because the flight is requiring that we wear gloves. Made it to the embassy and now we're waiting in line for the flight. There's a really long line. We're super grateful to be able to go back. Um, it's kind of bittersweet. It was all really rushed and 
and not the way we imagined this time to end, but great for to go back home. How was packing this morning? Uh, kind of stressful. I don't really do well packing like I pack. I usually prepare myself mentally for a week and I didn't really get that chance, so um, I almost fell down the stairs with our suitcase. But... Got our boarding pass and now we're just waiting to board a bus to take us to the military hangar where we await boarding for the plane to go back to Miami. We've been here just over an hour and it's starting to get a bit warm but it feels really good. Um, I'm glad that we brought a lot of water to drink throughout the day. We're just kind of chilling. After a couple of hours of waiting in the hangar, we're finally boarding the plane. How do you feel? Um, it's kind of surreal. I can't believe we're going back to America. We made it to the United States, finally. And we're really tired. Got a night in the Miami airport tonight, and then our flight departs early in the morning. Our flight in the US, that was really cheap though. We paid $11.20 each. Basically just the tax, actually only the tax. And that's because I had enough American Airlines points where I was able to pay the flight completely in points, except for the tax. And I got all these points by this credit card, which I'll link in the description. Uh, if you wanna get these points for travel in the future on American Airlines, sign up with the credit card. It's really easy. Didn't really sleep last night, but that's no surprise. I've actually slept in this airport once before back in, I think 2009, when we went on a, when I went on a family cruise in the Caribbean and we stayed over in Miami's airport because we flew in really late. We made it to Chicago. And we've noticed that a lot of people are not wearing masks here, unlike Peru. <laughs> Back in the Midwest, in the US. And we're feeling really good because it was getting pretty stressful in Peru. But we're back and hoping to make it a good time here. What do you think? I'm excited. I'm excited and grateful and happy to be back. Um, and I'm also excited for the next time we can travel. We're also a little bit sad to leave Peru because it's an amazing place. Mm -hmm. 